You look like you look like Johnny Appleseed, but like a nigga version. Like yeah. you look low key like an escaped yeah. runaway slave, to be honest. Oh, that's what is this fit? Summer 2023 on YouTube or some shit like that. Like I got like 623 y'all niggas like supporting a nigga, and uh, y'all got us up to even like just with 623 y'all we got like over 200,000, over a quarter million views on the channel minus the, the shit that I had to delete because of a copyright strike on a bullshit stream. But you feel me? Oh oh. All right, so I I forgot to say. We call. Oh, yeah. I, I forgot to say who this is. This is uh, Gerald, nigga. This is Gerald. You feel me? Uh, um, uh, formerly known as Slick J. <laughs> in uh, in Chris's uh, Chris's chat, you know the mod. So he yeah, here, real life, doing like real life stuff, learning how to you know do real nigga activities and shit. I'm Gerald. <laughs> What's up? You know what I'm saying? You know, I came from a uh, Merlin PG, you feel me? I'm new to this, you know. I try to, <laughs> I try to say to this, hey, I'm getting a call. <laughs> All right, he's learning. Yeah, so, yo, he's getting stuff together for Chris's fucking Cinco de Mayo stream right now. So, maybe we'll have some fire clips from that shit. If it goes well, we'll put him up in this shit. I f these light skinned niggas, man. And fucking goddamn! Yeah, I can't stand this nigga, man! Dead. This Michael fucking Jordan juice, man! I don't give a fuck about the look! I don't give a fuck about none of that shit! I need you to fucking put in that pain for LeBron! So, I've just been delaying this shit. Even in the past, when I've been on, like, you feel me? Even with all the stuff I do, uh, film wise, YouTube wise, that shit is all, like, self talk so for me, I look at my old videos and all the other videos, and it's like I'm always speaking about like some some thing that's ominous that like I want to do. And then you like looking at me, you're like who's this guy? And then you look at the channels like Free World, the people that come here for like the Shawnee Bilotin videos or or fucking just random music videos that I've done in the past, music videos of the gang that I've done in the past, people that just know me from high school, like whatever it may be. I never address what's going on in like the real time, like right now. Oh, I don't know why we don't do this. So Brojik said like, yeah, explain what it is you do. I never address that shit well. I don't know, but I feel like it's because it's never been a defined thing, but he had brought it up with like the whole point being of like, people do want to know like, they're interested in like, how the fuck does this guy survive? Like, what is it 
that he does that like makes the shit make sense. I don't think there is. I don't think there's a, a thing that makes it make sense. It's always something different. I'm always focused on a singular goal. It's just that like my path to this point has always been me focusing on different parts that all contribute to like the same goal, like the same goal. So, I mean, at, in the beginning, like the way, way, way beginning, it was just about like, how do we get our names out there? Like, how do I get verified? Like, how do I be like a valid person in like this industry to do shit? Um, this industry at first, meaning just like music, like how do we do shit in the music industry that makes sense? This is like goes back to like middle school, like trying to just like do local shows and like figure shit out. Uh, like high school, like throwing parties and backyard shows and basement shows and like a bunch of shit all the way to how do we do shows at like actual local venues in Boston? How do we do like shows in New York or shows in LA? Like how do we like get out there? I think I just went from like one thing to the other. So I never, I was always in different places. I'm like, all right, now I'm doing these music videos and I'm doing music videos for like my favorite artists. So like, this is gonna be the thing that gets us out. Or literally I'll just be on some entrepreneurial shit and I'll just be like, all right, well, we're making a lot of money now. So we're gonna be able to fund our own shit. Or I'll start booking shows. I started like throwing shows. I'm like, I'm booking artists. Now I'm in the room with like managers and artists. I'm with labels. Like, it just like kept going from one thing to another. It never like solidified. It was like, hey, this is the thing you do. At times, like six months or a year of like just doing one thing f for money, like for the most part, to like be the thing that financially uh, supports me. I don't, I've never let that mentally like define like what my focus is or like, what I'm doing especially if it's not like the most aligned. I try to always align it as much as possible. And for the most part, that's like, if I'm working with like, I worked with like this yoga company, Black Home, super dope now. Um, but like started from the ground roots of like, hey, how do we turn this thing to life? And so like I was hired to come in and be like, how do I make this, how do we make this thing a thing? And I was like, it's just, you got to think about what you're doing more as a media company, because if you want to exist in e-commerce, you have to have, you know, videos, content, you have to like, know what your niche is and what they like to see and what's gonna add value to the lane you know what i'm saying so i would just come in with like basic stuff that i knew from just being on the internet like being alive and through the time where this shit became a thing so it's kind of like the like a good amount of this in the back of my hand another part of it is that like i just live on the internet so it's like i'll even see like the how-to videos and the people out there like focusing on like what it is that's working like, mm, this one thing is not as valid but this other shit that they're saying is super true and this is exactly why X, Y, Z, like Z works, you feel me? So, uh, like I'll apply like my knowledge to shit like that, but at the same time, I'll get to travel with this company and we'll go to like Miami or like different places in California. And I got to like bring my family along and do dope like events, I bring friends along, have like time on the side. Like the event might be three days, I book a whole week there. So the other four days we can make our own content. Like, I've always tried to incorporate to the best of my ability like my end goal into the like right now plans but my day-to-day -day and what i do is i guess what i should probably address first because at the end of the day all those different things like me having my hands and all these different pots that's what like makes this what it is that's what makes free world free world it's the fact that like i'm i've noticed like okay this is here this is there this shit makes sense yeah i could just be like okay i'm gonna do this like I don't know, it's a personal channel to, for me has always seemed whack. Not for other people to do, it makes perfect sense, but for me, I don't know, a personal channel has always seemed whack because of all the things I want to do personally, right? Like, I want to direct, I want to make music, right? But maybe in the future when I'm like, I'm old, if people are mad interested, there might be like a channel for just me, but this is free world for a reason, you know? It's like, there's so many people and so many like reasons why I'm where I am, so I kind of just, I've always thought about things in like a platform sense. I've always thought about content in the form of like a channel, like a network, like a real TV channel, you know what I'm saying? So I don't know, I just always wanted to do things in that way. Uh, that's how I see my content like formed in my head, period. Like I see it coming out like, straight up on like an MTV, Adult Swim like type of platform. So I just wanted to make something that was that always. And, uh, if it's not like that, I don't know. I just don't. It don't push me. So I've always felt weird about doing stuff like this on that type of platform because you don't see stuff like this. So I'm gonna try my best to, you know, put that content out. But until then, I can only do so much. And I also try my best to make this feel like that. Like I'll try to throw a segment or two in here, just because it, it, it's, it's what's gonna make the video fun for me. Like it'll be more fun to do that than just 
like ramble in front of my setup. That's the last thing I want to fucking do on YouTube is sit in front of the camera on my setup and do that. But at the same time, I don't know. We got music videos, we got mad music. I have so much stuff documented, so I'm gonna be editing that up and posting it, but I wanna post it in the best form. I'm trying to make this like a thing. Empty ass fucking house ass. Empty ass. Yeah. This nigga refer this refers this to GTA. Yeah. Such a different generation. I see that and I think about car dealerships in normal fucking garages. He's like, that's like a GTA garage. No, the GTA garage is like is like the fucking real life. You wanna wear the sombrero? Nah. Oh, no. <laughs> what the fuck is this? What's that supposed to be? That is fucking insane. What's that supposed to be? A, a bowl, bowl of rice? rice? That's it's insane. A, it's the bro, that's out of this fucking it's world. No, a bowl, of rice. Bro, a bowl of rice is out of this fucking world, bro. Yo, it's the next no. verse. No. No. You look like you look like Johnny Appleseed, but like a nigga version. Like yeah. you look low key like an escaped yeah. runaway slave, to be honest. That's what you kind of look like. You need this. Oh, let me get that. Yeah, that's what we need. It's like the fifth one, brother. You're finished. Yo, what is this fit? What do you mean? Bro, big big Vato shit. I thought this is how we dress normally, bro. Big Vato this shit. This shit low-key smooth. Like, Uno, trash, Uno, trash don't shit smooth fresh shit. No, 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 hold on. Because I said, okay, come through like, you know, like, like, very, like, Latino culture. Come very culturally uh, appropriate. Came, like, this you is came true. like you're in South Central. You look like the niggas I see outside of my crib. Yeah, <laughs> I'm a Vato. Hey, don't even call me Ken, call me Eduardo the third. Eduardo oh, Eduardo. Great. Eduardo makes sense. Hey! 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 She don't leave. Oh, whoa, what the fuck? This nigga got the alcohol in him for sure. This nigga's wild. He can't even see anything in there. You can't see anything in there to be saying that. got him. See, this is what I said. This is what I said. You're caught in 4K. Right where we want him. This is what I said. You're caught in 4K. I'm caught in 4K. The camera's rolling. Yeah, you fucked up. All right, we about to get a Riz lesson from Gerald real quick. Oh, no, you know what I'm saying? You about to Riz this bitch up, me. you know what I'm saying? You about to get, um, can I get some extra hash brown? <laughs> Same thing. Um, it comes with regular waffle, right? Yeah. Yeah, and then can I have the, for the non, like, instead of the meat, can I have the hash brown? Yeah, you gotta work instead of the what? Instead <laughs> of me, bro. Hey, yo, what the fuck? I think, how do you like my egg? Uh, can I have jumbo with cheese? Fried or fertilized? <laughs> Out of <laughs> you said white toast? Um, <laughs> Are you like your eggs? Fried or fertilized? Fried or fertilized? Fried or fried or fertilized? How you like your eggs? Fried or fertilized? Fried or fertilized? <laughs> That's my girl right there. How you doing? Uh, <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, but not like this. We're talking about like real time. Like, we'll come. We'll come at like 5 a.m. Like no one here. From a real Hollywood scene. It'll be different. At least some, some real. <laughs> Um, can I get, let me get the all-star special. Oh, yeah. Yo, Waffle House, bro, thinks we're at Friendly's. I don't know. Bro, is that a seat? Yes, yeah, a seat, bro. Is that a booster seat for children? Oh, it's a booster seat for children, Nah, it's not. I was about to say, but no way. This is how you, this is a BBL seat. <laughs> When you get a BBL, you gotta go on the plane, you can't sit down, it's okay because your butt can sit. The BBL sits in the pocket. So you're not sitting on the BBL. So this bitch got arrested for 30 years, trafficking drugs, two days after she got a BBL. They had her in the car like that, because she couldn't sit down. She was going to jail for 30 years, she wasn't going to get out. She's in the car like this for her ass. No way, she's going to jail for 30 years, for real? She didn't get bailed out? Well, the next day? I mean... I think she got bailed out. What's your name? My name is Chris. Chris? Oh, we got that. We got to snap. Wow. Got snap. I know how it works. Ooh. Our boundary. Oh shit. All right. My whole group left. Your group left. Hey. Pleasure. Hey. Yeah, man. Yeah. 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 Be safe, brother. You do it. You do it. Good luck with all that. Terrible dad. You gotta get the exits. That was an awful dad. <laughs> I'm out here in the streets. It get difficult in these streets. It get crazy. Oh, this life. A day. Oh, the other day I was walking down the street. I see two bad bitches. Oh, I have a haircut, so I couldn't say nothing. These bitches piss me off. I get so angry. Oh, I just get so mad. Oh. Welcome inside a look at Waffle House. Here we have uh, personalities of all types of varieties. <laughs> I'm taking you inside the world of Waffle House. whatever. Please, sub, sub, uh, I want to reach one million likes. So please, Sarapakara, 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 Okay, thank you.